watching America's healthiest TV show, Health Corner, with host Joan London, plus Chef MD Dr. John LaPuma, and fitness with Kathy Smith. Today on Health Corner. When you get your mind to it and you get your head in the game, there's nothing that you can't do. The Biggest Loser's Bob Harper has what you need to get motivated, take charge, and lose weight. This is where I really get to help people who are caring for people at home. Visit a model home that is a dream come true for caregivers. I've got a new take on an everyday staple, my 70 approved chicken parmesan. It's a winner. Health Corner is a sponsored program brought to you by Walgreens, the pharmacy America trusts since 1901. Hi, I'm Joan London and welcome to Health Corner. We're celebrating women's health all month long with health screenings every woman should know about. More on that later in the show. But first, what do Gwyneth Paltrow, Ellen DeGeneres and Ben Stiller have in common? Well, they all turn to Bob Harper to stay fit. Here's Health Corner correspondent Sarah Welch with the story. He's driven. You are not going home. You're going to stay with me. Demanding. Don't say you're pushing, because you're not. You and know, determined to reshape lives here. one no, pound at a time. Not. It's my job to pull the roadblocks out and realize that if you have 10 pounds to lose or if you have 200 pounds to lose, it can be done and you can change your life. It's just the matter of do you want to do it? And they are doing it. The nation's heaviest Americans are losing hundreds of pounds each week on the hit television show, The Biggest Loser. This is where it all starts. This is your last chance workout. Celebrity trainer Bob Harper motivates contestants on a weight loss journey that gets results. We asked him to share his secrets. No, they're secrets. I can't tell you my secret. Okay, so he's sharing a little. And Lauren Pankhurst is motivated. She's getting married soon, and between working and planning her wedding, there's not a lot of time left over for fitness and weight loss. It's hard to get up that hour earlier, and it's hard to, you know, after you've worked a long day, to stay that extra hour, get to the gym. And Bob says there's just no excuse. Even at work, you can work out. Keep weights like this in your desk. Just 30 minutes of exercise a day in 10-minute increments can have a major impact on improving your health. Okay, I'm going to show you something you can do with your core strength, really. It just takes some forethought, whether you're reaching for your toes or your next snack. One of the biggest things I try to tell people when it comes to losing weight is that you've got to eat. You've got to get your metabolism up and going. I need you to eat within the first 30 minutes of waking up and then eating small meals throughout the course of the day, every four hours. And that means having smaller meals to where you have something almost to look forward to. I work a lot with people that work in offices, that they're just like trapped at their desk all day long. So they know that they're going to be getting these meals every four hours. That means choosing healthy snacks over sugar, which is a real challenge considering what's available in most lunchrooms. I have gone out there doing these office workouts. I have seen what is in these offices. I don't know how they do it. I've started using sugar-free gum with a lot of my people, and it does work because research shows that chewing sugar-free gum can reduce sweet cravings. Now, come up just a little bit higher here. Now, But before you do anything, you need to make up your yourself. mind. It's all about reprioritizing. You've got to get yourself at the top of your list. Let's go. This is not going to happen overnight. You're not going to be able to just like change Detroit everything all at once. House. But when you get your mind to it and you get your head in the game, there's nothing that you can't do. Focus forward. Think about how bad you want it. For Health Corner, I'm Sarah Two, Welch. One. Your relationship with your child can have a big impact on their intelligence and can help your child develop. Here's parenting expert Jill Rep. Aside from genetics, have you ever wondered what influences your child's IQ? Proper nutrition, exercise, and sleep are important. Don't forget to divide your fraction. But now, some researchers believe your relationship could make a big difference too. Since the human brain grows really fast to adult size in the first four years, experts think some parents push their kids way too hard early on. Researchers believe too much pressure could be counterproductive. You do have time, since your child's brain continues to grow and reorganize in complex ways through early adulthood. There's also evidence that positive emotion could drive learning. Listening closely to your child, making eye contact, speaking in a positive tone and manner, all these things will help reinforce your child's emotional well-being and boost their IQ. Learning through experience also seems to stick with kids. Involve them in cooking, gardening, even doing the laundry. They can all be meaningful opportunities to grow your child's brain power. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to foster genius in your child. 
reasonable expectations, building a positive connection with your child, and giving them hands-on learning experiences are fuel to help them soar. For Kids Corner, I'm Jill Rep. This portion of Health Corner is brought to you by the makers of Pepsid Complete. Just one and heartburn's done. Coming up, we're going to visit a model home that is a dream come true for caregivers. Stay with us. Hi. Number two, please. Would you like that to hurt now or later? Uh, what? Sir, it's a simple question. Do you want heartburn pain now or later? These heartburn medicines make you choose between hurting now or later. Pepsi Complete doesn't. It starts to neutralize acid in seconds and keeps it under control all day or all night. Sometimes you gotta make compromises, man. No, you don't, man. Pepsi Complete works now and works later. Now with a great new taste. Wave hello to the Neutrogena Wave, the vibrating cleanser that's going to shake up the way you wash your face. I've used a lot of cleansers, but I've never tried anything like the Wave. Just attach a pad, add some water, and turn it on. Gentle vibrations help open pores, so cool foam can clean ten times deeper to remove more dirt, oil, and makeup than traditional cleansing. My skin looks softer right away. Even my friends notice. Neutrogena Wave Power Cleanser. Now available with gentle exfoliating pads. develop a photo once in a while. <laughs> Gotta be kidding me. Uh-oh, somebody's gonna get deleted. Oh, no. Not me. I got deleted last time. If only your memory card always had space for those great new photos. Fortunately, you can put your photos on Walgreens.com and have prints ready for friends and family to pick up at multiple Walgreens nationwide, usually within an hour. to scare your children with a banana. How to fight cancer with a banana. A healthy diet is just one of many ways you could reduce your cancer risk. Visit us for information and ideas. This is the American Cancer Society. Welcome back to Health Corner. I'm Joan London. Do you love mushrooms? I do too. They're meaty and delicate and packed with nutrition and flavor, but Chef MD Dr. John LaPuma says they get no respect. Could someone please give the mushroom a little respect? I mean, seriously, these babies are completely underrated. There are over 30,000 varieties of mushrooms worldwide. Yeah, some are poisonous, but those we can eat seem to get no respect, especially here in the U.S. While they're small, mushrooms are healthy heavyweights. Catch. Mushrooms can actually make vitamin D when they're exposed to light. And they're packed with more B vitamins than you can possibly imagine. Both vitamins B and D are good for your skin, your nervous system, and your digestive system. One other important thing about mushrooms, they taste good. And they're today's food as medicine ingredient in my easy Chef MD approved chicken parmesan in a tomato mushroom reduction. It's a filling dish that's ridiculously easy, healthy, and delicious. See you later in the show. If you'd like Chef MD recipes emailed to you every week, just sign up at healthcornertv.com. It's free. Okay, I want you to meet Stacy Kinkle. She's a caregiver on a mission. She's looking for ways to make her home more accessible for her aging father. Take a look at this. How are you doing, Dad? My name is Stacy Kinkle, and I help my mother care for my father, who is approaching 80 this year. We would really like him to stay in his home as long as possible, and that requires my mom having the ability to care for him here well. And I think because of my desire to keep him at home, we need to see what's out there to assist him in staying at home. Hi, Stacy. Yeah. Caregiver House is a really unique facility for, as a training lab and a demonstration area for people in the community. We this have all of the rooms set up with adaptive aids that I can this show people what can make their caregiving easier. You Curious wanted to, to know about a mechanical lift. I want to make sure that there are aids 
that we could bring into our house if we needed to so that if he had to be transferred to a wheelchair, we could actually do that. This is so needed for caregivers to be able to see what kinds of adaptive aids people can use and make caregiving easier. This is where I really get to help people who are caring for people at home. And I just really want people to be able to maintain the, their loved one at home for as long as possible. So I'm very passionate about that. I feel like the quality of life is just better keeping them at home. Thanks, Stacy. If you have a story idea, send us an email and tell us about it. Many college graduates are looking for their first job right now. Did anyone teach them how to network? Megan Sinclair is our 20-something reporter, and she has some helpful advice. When you're looking for a job, your talent and drive are big factors. But don't forget that old saying, it's not what you know, it's who you know. I'm talking about contacts. What you know may ultimately get you the job, but who you know can help you get through the door. 70% of all jobs are found through networking. So start with a list of everyone you know and everyone they know. Networking is like magic. You never know when a particular lead will, well, lead to something. So talk to someone who knows someone else, who knows another woman who's looking for someone just like you. So talk to your friends, your parents, your parents' friends, professors, coworkers, previous employers, shop owners, hairdressers, everybody. You can also network online. Professional networking sites have become a valuable resource. LinkedIn, Zing.com, and Plaxo are just a few that are widely used. Finally, don't be too picky. Get a job and get going in the workplace. It may not be exactly what you were looking for, but you can always keep looking for that perfect opportunity. In the meantime, you're employed. And that's a really good thing. For Health Corner, I'm Megan Sinclair. Happy networking! Thank you, Megan. Great information. Did you know that about one in three adults has high blood pressure? Now, even more surprising, nearly a third of those people don't even know it. Our Walgreens pharmacist, John Jenkins, joins us now with more. Joan, getting your blood pressure checked is vital for every adult. If you don't treat high blood pressure, it can lead to stroke, a heart attack, heart failure, even kidney failure. And the only way to tell is to have it checked. I know a lot of places now offer blood pressure screenings, so it's pretty convenient. Why do you think so many people avoid getting checked? Some people worry about side effects or complications from blood pressure medication. There are a lot of different medications to choose from now. Your doctor can help you decide which one will work best for you. And interaction with pain relievers is another concern? That's true, because most over-the-counter pain relievers interfere with blood pressure meds, including aspirin, ibuprofen, and naproxen. Some decongestants do, too, but acetaminophen works fine with blood pressure medicines. And certain cold and flu treatments can relieve congestion without increasing your blood pressure. The important thing is to find out if you have high blood pressure and get it under control. All right, so you need to know those numbers. I know mine, and I have them checked regularly. Thanks for being with us, John. <laughs> You're welcome. This portion of Health Corner is brought to you by the makers of Zyrtec. Love the air. Millions of Americans have arthritis. If your doctor says it's okay, exercise usually helps. Here's fitness expert Kathy Smith on staying fit with arthritis. Hi, Kathy. You know, Joan, the achy, stiff joints of arthritis hits millions of people. And I understand that the pain keeps a lot of people from exercising. But getting up and moving is actually one of the best things you can do to help your arthritis. So regular strength training can keep the muscles around affected joints strong, decrease bone loss, and may help control joint swelling and pain. Range of motion exercises and stretching exercises like yoga can also help lubricate the cartilage of the joint and can reduce stiffness and pain. Low impact aerobics like biking, swimming and walking will help keep your weight down which is crucial for healthy joints. It also helps keep your energy and your stamina up. For minor aches and pains, over the counter medications can do the trick. But for long term relief from all sorts of illnesses, you gotta grab your walking shoes. I'm Kathy Smith and here's to your health. Looking for the secret to losing weight and keeping it off? Find out how at kathysmith.com. Coming up on Chef MD, a vitamin B and D packed recipe that's a healthy, tasty twist on a classic. Fishing pole, it's been a while. 
You stood in the basement gathering dust while I, sneezing, itching eyes, kept you from our favorite stream. The one that runs through a field where pollen floats through the air. But now, with the strength of 24-hour Zyrtec to relieve my worst allergy symptoms, indoors and outdoors. Let's go before the fish stop biting. They won't wait for us. But that's okay. Zyrtec starts working two hours faster than Claritin. Today we battle wits with the trout. With Zyrtec, I can love the air. We're visiting Hidden Valleys across America to see how they like the taste of Kraft Ranch. You want to try some Kraft Ranch? Nice approach. Good form. Oh, mm. he's got all of that one. Mulligan. <laughs> that went in the water. I just want to see a nice shoulder turn and dip. Hi! Mm. See? A craft lover in Hidden Valley. Isn't that a two-stroke penalty? No. <laughs> it isn't. You can love it. Introducing Imodium Multi-Symptom Relief. It combines two powerful medicines for fast relief of your diarrhea symptoms, so you can get back out there. Imodium. Get back out there. Yeast infection? Get over it. Introducing Monistat Triple Action System. Over the burning. Over the itching and irritation. Over the infection? Over the counter. Monistat Triple Action System. Health Corner celebrates women's health all month long. And we want to remind you of some of the vital health screenings that are so important to women. So, don't forget your blood pressure tests, cholesterol checks, even a blood glucose test if your doctor recommends one. For early detection of cancers, mammograms and pap smears. To check for any bone loss, a bone density test. And make sure you do a skin and breast self-exam once a month to look and feel for any changes. And finally, don't forget the colonoscopy for early detection of colon cancer or precancerous growths. As always, check with your doctor about when and with what frequency these tests should be performed and also about what other tests might be important for you. Celebrate women's health with us. Learn more about the importance of prevention and wellness and more about these screenings at our website, healthcornertv.com. Now that summer's here and it's time to bare your skin, will you be ready? Of course you will, with my Four Point Summer Skin Makeover. First, exfoliate to get rid of dry, dull skin. Use a loofah, buff puff, or microdermabrasion cream. But don't overdo it. No more than three times a week will make your skin silky smooth. Next, remove unwanted hair. Start now, so when bare skin season is in full swing, you will experience less growth, making it a breeze to keep your skin soft and smooth all summer long. Next, moisturize. If your winter skin is only a little dry, use a liquid moisturizer. For very dry skin, use cream. Try a tinted moisturizer for a healthy bronze glow. And finally, don't forget your feet. Use a skin peel product to remove calluses and scales and get a pre-summer pedicure. Then treat yourself to a new pair of trendy summer sandals. Transform your skin into healthy, glowing summer skin, and you'll always have that certain something. For Health Corner, I'm Florida Perry Smith. Which products are right for you? Ask your Walgreens Beauty Advisor for help. They have the knowledge and expertise you need to look and feel your best. Here's just one example of how some dedicated professionals are changing lives. The rain, the mud, the hard work, <laughs> don't bother Terry Sanders. That's part of the appeal of adventure racing. It's a variety of things. You're biking, you're running, you're, you're doing kayaking, and then they throw in challenges or puzzles or ropes courses. The challenges and teamwork are what get her going. After all, just a few years ago, Terry found walking painful. I was first diagnosed whenever I was going into eighth grade. It was a routine school chick that caught Terry's scoliosis. The curve that, that I experienced was an S curve. And so you could actually see my spine whenever I bent over. Terry's scoliosis was severe enough that she needed a brace. But in adolescence, okay. that's a tough pill to swallow. And Terry decided to just live with the curved spine. I was just so um, petrified of that brace. Eventually, the curved spine, shifted weight, and awkward posture caught up with her. And doing nothing was no longer an option. I experienced daily pain. It just got to the point where I, 
I couldn't handle it anymore. Traditionally, scoliosis is treated in adolescence, and the thinking was that if as an adult you still have that curve in your spine, there wasn't much you could do about it. But that's all changing. The old myth was that adult scoliosis didn't hurt and that the curves didn't get worse. Well, on both counts, we were dead wrong. Hi, Terry. Hey, Dr. Dr. Shelikoff started out treating adolescents with scoliosis, but over time, he's found an increasing audience of adults who need his care. And fortunately, now he's got treatment options for them. And the tools have caught up to what we know about the disease, and now we can do very lovely corrections of the spine uh, less destructively and, in fact, make both adolescents and adults very functional rather than debilitated by the very operation that was being done to treat their problem. You can see Terry's before and after picture. Terry's and curve so was treatable with surgery. Essentially, using screws and a sort of cage, the, they straightened and fused together the bottom of the S-curve in her spine. She has a very short fusion, only five vertebrae. It leaves her spine below the fusion untouched and normal and leaves her spine above the fusion untouched and normal. With the help of her inner ear and equilibrium, the top curve will now correct itself. And Terry has mobility through the rest of her back, which means things like running and mountain biking are possible. It's life-changing for me because I'm able to do things that I wasn't able to do before. I'm able to do them without pain. I would have never done a sport like this with the pain that I was experiencing before. In fact, Terry didn't start adventure racing until a year after her surgery. Now it's a passion. Terry, as many adult patients, has gone back to a very vibrant and active life with a minimum of limitations. For Terry, it means a new life free of pain, full of finish lines. I'm just really thankful for, for what I can do now, the life that I can live now. For Health Corner, I'm Elisa Adams. This portion of Health Corner is brought to you by 100 Calorie Packs. I don't know about you, but I love Italian food. Dr. John, I hear you're making something special for me. Who doesn't love chicken parmesan, Joan? I'm adding loads of energy-packed, robust flavor. Find out how next on Chef MD. between soft chocolate cakes. They're goodies for grown-ups. Protect them when you can. Cross your fingers when you can't. And keep your little rays of sunshine safe longer with new Aveeno Continuous Protection Active Sunblock. Our photostable technology provides UVA protection proven to last longer than traditional sunblocks. And it stays waterproof up to four hours for our strongest protection. That outlasts their energy. Continuous protection. And try Aveeno Baby, the number one dermatologist recommended baby sunblock. Aveeno, that's the beauty of nature and science. Nice work on the front ones. Now try the backs. How about the back of the backs? What now? Introducing Reach Ultra Clean. It's got an angled neck just like a dental instrument, so it fits your mouth, making the hard to reach easy to reach. Reach, that's our angle. Does your mouthwash work in six different ways? Introducing Listerine Total Care. Everything you need to strengthen teeth, help prevent cavities, and kill germs. <sighs> Introducing 6-in-1 Listerine Total Care, the most complete mouthwash. Today we're cooking an easy dish that will impress everyone. It's my 70 approved chicken parmesan in a tomato reduction with parmesan crisp, but you might just know it as healthy chicken parmesan. And it's so easy. We start with a lot of mushrooms and that's what we want. I'm just gonna start the sauce, a little extra light olive oil. You can use cooking spray too. Allow it to get hot, add a pound of sliced cremini or baby portobello mushrooms, that's the right sound, and let them cook down. Now let's bread the chicken. I want to show you an easy way to get more omega-3 fatty acids in your chicken. You add a little flax meal to a plastic bag. You put the chicken breast 
inside the plastic bag with the flax meal, seal up the plastic bag, and just give it a shake. Then you beat an egg white with a little bit of water. You get a little air into that egg white, pour it in a dish, and take the chicken breast out, now with omega-3 fatty acids in it, and put it right in the egg white. Flip it and combine a little bit of Parmesan cheese, finely grated Reggiano Parmesano, the good stuff, with a whole grain cereal that I crushed up a little and some red pepper flakes. Add and then combine this. What you're doing is building up breading for the chicken that is actually good for you. Chicken breast goes right into the mixture. Give it another flip. Transfer it from that breading dish to the sheet pan where I've already done three others. And this can go right in the oven and bake for about 15 minutes at 400 degrees. Now we're ready to add a little bit of balsamic vinegar and about a cup of tomato sauce. It doesn't have to cook very long. I'm going to let it simmer in back and then bring up another pan for the Parmesan crisps. This is a great trick. What you do is add a little bit of Parmesan cheese into a hot, large, nonstick skillet. It'll pop a little bit around the outside, so you just flatten it with a teaspoon. Wait for about 15, 20 seconds, and the edges will begin to brown. When you have two forms of the same food in the same dish, they more than double the flavor. And the little tiny bit of Parmesan adds almost no saturated fat. I'm gonna turn it and then let it cook a little bit on the other side. We're almost done. I have some chicken Parmesan that's in the oven and ready to go. Ooh, doesn't that look nice? Take a nice sized plate, spoon out some good tomato mushroom sauce, chicken filet right in the middle, and don't forget our Parmesan crisp, some basil for garnish, and that's it. A healthy chicken Parmesan. For the complete recipe, check out our website. And remember, the fountain of youth starts in the kitchen. Tatani, may you live 100 years. For Chef MD, I'm Dr. John LaPuma. Mm. Wow, it's really good. Learn more about culinary medicine today. Order Chef MD's Big Book of Culinary Medicine at chefmd.com and sign up for free weekly recipe emails while you're there. That's Health Corner for today. Our special thanks to Bob Harper and, of course, to all of you at home for watching America's Healthiest TV Show. We'll be back next week. Until then, I'm Joan London. Take care. Next week on Health Corner. I'm 55, and that's okay. Robin McGraw explains why she's never been happier or healthier. I encourage all women to do this. Annie McDowell kicks off a one-of-a-kind casting call for women who have heart disease. Take a break from the boring with my cholesterol-lowering, fragrant, and easy Indian lentil and butternut squash stew on Chef and D. Health Corner is a sponsored program brought to you by Walgreens.